you guys, Sugar Bear was not on the market no time, and he's been scooped up already. That's right, Mama June's ex, Sugar Bear. You guys know he married Jennifer, um, but now him and Jennifer, they're not together, and he's got him a new woman. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about it. Also, um, I don't really know what's going on here with them, you guys. So, when Jennifer made the announcement the very end of December, like New Year's Day, she made the announcement that her and Mike were not together. I made a video about that, about the fact that they weren't together and how the internet, the internet's feelings were on that, that it was kind of like two-sided. There were some people saying, you know, that on the show, she seemed like she was really mean and negative. So they were happy that Sugar Bear and her were getting a divorce. And then there were some people that was like, uh, you're too good for him. So it was kind of split down the middle. Um, but a lot of people that watch the show, the show paints her as a villain. So I talked about that in my video. I talked about how there were people that because they watched the show and the way the show portrays Jennifer, there were people that was kind of happy about it. Well, Jennifer wasn't happy with my video. Um, she did make a post about me and that's okay. That's okay. But back in December, December 31st, 2021, Jennifer announced that her and Sugar Bear were not together. She said, as this year starts to roll out and another one comes in, I just want to say goodbye to 2021. 2021, I'm glad to see you roll out tonight. This year has brought so many ups and downs, but has taught many lessons in life. First, I want to say that I'm glad to have the job. The second, I just want to say I'm truly grateful that I got to do six seasons on WeTV with some great people, seen many places, done things I thought I would never do, and meet some of the most famous people ever. Thanks, WeTV, for a great career in TV. And yes, I'm putting it out there because this is the end of a new year and a new one starting. Me and Mike have went our different ways. Yes, it's hard, but we will work through it and we will still remain friends. So now when everyone sees us and we're not together, everyone will know what's going on. Just no questions, please. So I'm letting this year go by. Please hurry up and roll your out so i can have a new year to see what it brings for me happy new year party hard and rock in the new year love y'all jennifer so when she made that post myself and plenty of other people were talking about the fact that her and sugar bear were getting a divorce we speculated people had our theories you know did he cheat on her um was it due to the weight loss because mike has talked about how he's into bigger women and i follow a lot of um mama june fan pages and like i said the show paints jennifer out to be like the villain so there was a lot of people that talked about how they were happy that she left after that video went out she did make a post on her facebook i'll read it really quick and it's nothing that i really want to get into too much but i am going to read the post really quick because i do have some things i do kind of want to say about it and then we're going to talk about sugar bear and his new woman because sugar bear got him a new woman you guys okay so on february 5th she wrote just looking on youtube at lb on their talking let's get it straight i'm not the person that tv made me out to be that was one thing that i questioned i always did give her the benefit of the doubt on all of my videos i've always said i don't know if she is that way or if that's just the way the show portrayed her but keep in mind this is supposed to be reality television but even though it's reality television you know, I've questioned it. She said, I was always portrayed as the villain. Do you all really think that I would take a man from his daughter? Not hard. Not hard yet. But I think she meant not hardly. Um, which I never said that she specifically did take Honey Boo Boo from Mike. I actually talked about the one time where she wanted to get custody of Honey Boo Boo. In my video, I was like, you guys, she tried to get custody of Honey Boo Boo. And, you know, there was an incident where Honey Boo Boo and Pumpkin was at their house. And she kind of yelled at Pumpkin and Honey Boo Boo. And she was talking bad about Mama June to the kids. So, I just kind of wondered, was that all an act? Like, the way she, you know, spoke about mama june in front of the kids was that an act like after they said cut did everybody just kind of giggle and hang out you know i didn't know so that's why i was like on the show she is portrayed this way i don't know if it's all an act um but i never i never i don't think on any of my videos i ever really did talk about her trying to keep alana from mike i don't know um she said if anything i'm the one that told mike to have something to do with her to call her to keep in contact with her but no, his butt always said that he wanted nothing to do with her because she wanted nothing to do with him. So do not put 
me down if you do not know me. If you guys, I'll link the video. I never really thought I'd put her down. Um, she said, first of all, before getting into my personal life, you can come talk to me about stuff. I'm very open book and no one has to judge anyone about anything they do. So the reason why I didn't go to Jennifer uh, when I read the post about her and Sugar Bear getting a divorce is because it specifically said, please, no questions. There's times, you know, where like teen moms, I've, I've messaged them. Uh, somehow I looked up and got a couple of them's phone number and I reached out to them. But more than often, they don't respond. 90% of the time, they don't respond. And especially if they're going through something and they tell people to leave them alone, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to mess with them. So here, she's like, you could have came to me and asked me. But I'm like, when the first post where you announced the divorce, you said not to question you. So that's what I was doing. I was just going to make my little video about you announcing that you guys were divorced. I had went on all the mom fan pages, all the uh, Mama June fan pages to kind of read the reaction and I was just given the reaction like this is the reaction they're getting a divorce she announced it and that was my video no I didn't go to her and ask questions because she specifically said not to she said just know TV is TV everyone has a part to play to make their money I'm here if you LB or anyone else has any questions just ask in person do not go assuming anything about me until you have asked the questions thanks Jennifer um so I took that as TV is TV everyone has a part to play the comments kind of ate me up some of them they, they was like wow did she not know this was fake and it was like uh yeah I questioned it oftentimes I was like I don't know if all of this is fake if some of this is fake like I don't know the extent because it is supposed to be reality television so at least some of it should have been reality and like their real life um so I often question you know her role in it whatever um so she didn't like my video um but I never accused her of trying to keep Alana from uh her dad I don't think um but anyways um let's continue so I did reach out to her and I was like hey I would like to set up an interview and um she was like I'll think about it so I don't know I did hear though I did hear that she was considering doing a podcast where she would kind of talk about what went on between her and Mike um maybe some behind the scenes of the show I'm not really sure about that but I did see where she said if you guys want the truth I want to start a podcast so I'm all for that I'm all for her starting a podcast or if she would like to come on here tell her side that's fine I would love to interview her and Mike both of them you'd be like hey what's y'all story I want to hear each side you know what I'm saying um I reached out to Mike to get his side and um haven't really heard back from him um but I've read some of the comments I've heard some things where you know it's been alleged that Mike cheated I've heard that that wasn't the case so I really don't know what caused the divorce but Mike was not on the market very long because she announced this the last day of 2021 and here we are mid-February and he has been scooped up you guys so over on his Facebook account so uh 17 hours ago at the time that I'm recording this um there was a post made that says love you and it's a picture of Mike and his new bae and it says when your eyes met mine my soul pointed at you and whispered to my heart him um, so he's got him a new woman going through kind of the comments. She's pretty active on his uh, social media accounts, commenting. Um, he posted a video about his parents and she commented, said, I wish I could have met them. And he said, me too, babe. So it seems like they're pretty serious. I did hear that their uh, Jennifer and Mike's separation and their divorce is not going to be featured on the show. I heard that that went down when they were not filming. Um, but I do wonder if new girlfriend is going to be on the show, what Jennifer has to say about it. Um, Jennifer said in her original post that her and Mike would remain friends, but I don't think that's the case, you guys, because on her Facebook, uh, she has said before, like, if you're friends with Mike, just unadd me, block me. I don't want to be your friend. If you are Facebook friends with Mike or if you're friends with Mike in real life, I don't want to be your friend. So I don't think things are going that well between them they're they're getting a divorce um she said it was like civil but i don't think that's the case anymore you guys um but yeah now he's announced he's got a new woman it looks like she has at least one kid a young boy i'm not gonna put his pictures out there um but yeah he's made it facebook official that he's got him a new woman i'm curious to see if she will appear on the show but he didn't stay single long you guys and like i said there were theories or 
rumors out there that he may have cheated on Jennifer. So I do kind of wonder if maybe if he was cheating, is this the woman that he was cheating with? If Sugar Bear or um, Jennifer would like to talk to me. I would love to uh, ask them some questions and just kind of talk to both of them to get their side. I only feel like that would be fair. You know, if I talk to her and he would be willing to talk, I would love to get both of their sides. But right now, we know he's in a relationship. And Jennifer, she is just living her best life. Um, she's going to concerts. She's having fun with her friends. She's thinking about getting new tattoos. So it seems like she's happy. It seems like he's happy. But you guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you guys shocked to find out that Sugar Bear was not on the market that long at all? Like two months that we know of. Two months on the market and he has scooped up again, you guys. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone.